Hello everybody, my name is Gentle Page, and today I will be looking at, um, well I will be comparing both the this color scheme, uh, so the grey and dark blue AATs. This one came out in 2010, this one in 2020, so a 10 year difference. Um, this one, the newer one, uh, it cost 40 euros, the left one, the older one, cost 50 euros. The old one has, um, what's it called? It's a lot of minifigures. Seven, <laughs> if you count them correctly. And this one has four. Um, I'll be comparing them on basis of minifigures, the size, accuracy, a lot of different stuff, which I will, which I will be, uh, well, taking a look at them first. Let's just start with the first point. I do have reviews of both of these sets in the description down below. Also speed builds, which you can check out also in the description down below. And at the end, I will be saying which one is my favorite set, which one I should think you should buy, or if there is even one you should buy. But for these minifigures, uh, the original one, let's start with one of the minifigures, they come both with one Jedi Master, eh, technically out of the order, but still a Jedi Master, or better one. Second, one Jedi, you have one clone, two, in my opinion, regular battle droids, and this one has three super battle droids extra. And there you can see the similarities of uh, for which characters I think are the best. Well, you have an exclusive clone here to kind of special clones or clones battle droids on the right set and so it has some uh, competition going for it but still for 40 euros only getting four figures where for 50 euros you would get seven at a time i do believe that the minifigures on the left are better i have uh, gone on to a better indication of how the minifigures look in the set reviews themselves but i'll give one point to the older set so let's get them out of the way and look at the ships themselves out of the way and let's start with the newer one i will now be taking a look at uh, let's start with play functions um, first of all, the play function they both have is... Ro ah, I'll take a look at both of them at the same time. Um, they have a rotating cannon and one you can angle up and down. So this one rotates. They both have a ledge where you can fit um, one of the battle droids. And you close the deck up. And they both use sliders so they can move around pretty freely themselves. This one... Is really fun to do this one a bit less so but <laughs> that's probably just in how i build them differently um different play functions they both have something to be able to shoot the cannon actually itself it can actually shoot it just can move up and down but if you look in the back you can see if you press one of those trace parts <laughs> then it shoots they are pretty um on the other side it's also one they are pretty uh, sensitive, so they shoot pretty easily. On the back, this one doesn't have uh, spring-loaded shooters, because they didn't have them back then. But it has flick-fire missiles, where you can flick out the whole turret. Uh, which is, in my opinion, a big bit too big to flick out, especially because it makes them less sturdy. That's why they break off a lot. Um, you also have a cockpit which can open in both sets. That one goes on the top, this one in the front. And in both situations you can um, fit a min minifigure in them. And that's all the, the features. And you can move the turrets up and down in both sets. That's all the features that the newer set has. And the old set has another one. Which is, if you look down here, you can flip out this one and take out a little like surveillance card kind of thing and 
Um, although it isn't like the best thing, you can still display this set like this and have this surveillance card as an extra part, which is in my opinion pretty great. And so, although I like the to have spring loaded shooters more than the flick fire missiles, I do still believe that the old set has better play functions because you have the extra. Uh, card which I consider a play function. It's an extra thing for the same vehicle and Although this one this competition was really close because they for the most part have the same uh, Features, but that's it for features. So we have two zero and Let's go on to the next part which is accuracy and I won't be going into the size as much, because an argument could be made for both of them, why it's better to have a smaller one or a bigger one. The most thing I'm going to say is that this turret, you can see how far it extends beyond the front, which is this whole part it extends. And you can see this one, it just extends a little bit, just this top part. So this is way too big. And you can adjust it, but... Lego should have done better, in my opinion. Also, I don't know if they can rotate all the way the top turret, but in the newer set it could, it can, but in the older set it would stop. And I don't know which is accurate, but I do know it's from. On the one hand, it's great to have it stop right here, so you know it wouldn't go all over the place, but it is only pointing forward and I think it should be able to turn off uh, turn away a little bit more and so also you have the turrets although these ones the new one does have the turrets one big one small they should be the other way around easy fix yeah but Lego should have done better so I'll just move them around and there are some other features which I don't really know much of. I do know that this rounded piece, it, it is really f flatter, more flat in the series. So again, for accuracy, I will go to the old one. So we have three, zero. And then we get to price, where the old one was 50 euros and the new one is 40 euros and as for a 40 euro set I just don't see it I mean co compared to uh, like a Republic tank which came out like a couple years ago it was 2018 in my opinion and uh, if I recall correctly where it was the same size ish but it, it, it cost like 30 and I so I do believe this one is overpriced. And if you can find this one still for this price for 50, then it's a pretty great set. It's a grand set. If you would want it, eh, that's the other thing because it takes up more space. And it has some older pieces by coming out such a while ago. But still. So for price, especially with the minifigures. For 10 euros more, you get three Super Battle Droids in this set, which are just not included in this one. And yeah, maybe the Ahsoka, the Ahsoka Trooper, this one, is exclusive. Well, at least the helmet part, because the torso printing is in, well, if I can see correctly, exactly the same as the 501st. Uh, yeah, it is exactly the same as the 501st. So. I don't believe that one exclusive minifigure sells this set. Well, it does. That's that's the part. This figure, that helmet piece, it made this set, well, bother quite a lot just to get enough of those Ahsoka Troopers. And I do not support that. I, I don't support getting one great minifigure in, like, a pretty okay set. And, again, as I said in my review of... I believe, yeah, especially this one, where I wouldn't have bought it if 
as I said, I wouldn't have bought it if I knew that, well, that Ahsoka would come in another set, in another cheaper set, like a year afterwards. If I knew that, I wouldn't have bought it. Nothing against this set. It's just obsolete when you have the older one. And anything but this great figure is exclusive. So, that's everything I have to say. If my counting is correctly, <laughs> if I was counting correctly, this one wins by a long shot. Four against zero. And so I believe this is a greater set. Do I advise against buying this one? No, no, definitely not. But as I said in both reviews, if you have this set, then there is actually no need to buy this set. If you want another AAT, buy two of the same one. Because to be honest, these two don't really look that great next to each other. I have them just displayed next to each other like always, but having two of the same one would probably look better. So that's my advice. That's my comparison. If you like this comparison, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by Reddit. The dual Mustafar will be my next review. And also, I, as I said, I have all the other videos in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.